So hey guys, I'm Dr. Jackie, and make sure you like and subscribe my YouTube channel. Today, we're talking about fibroids. Now we have all heard about fibroids and they're like monsters, but what are fibroids? Fibroids are those smooth muscle tumors found within the uterus. And the uterus is the womb. This is where the baby goes and this is where you have your period. But these smooth muscle tumors are typically benign. There's less than 1% chance that a fibroid could be malignant, but they're typically benign. Who gets fibroids? Let's start with age. Typically, a woman around the age of 20 to 30 will develop fibroids. We rarely see fibroids after 50, and it's a little bit concerning if they do develop that late in life. Um, family history. If your mom had fibroids, your sister, your aunt, unfortunately, ladies, statistically, you're more likely to have fibroids ethnic origin. You know, we've heard it and it's been said, women who are African American tend to have more fibroids than anyone else. Obesity. The estrogen stimulation that goes along with being obese tend to increase your chances of having fibroids. And then what you eat. It is believed but not proven that certain foods like meat, red meat in particular, can increase your risk of fibroids. However, Green foods, green foods, green foods, green foods can improve it. So eat more salads, eat less meat. So where do fibroids grow? Now I've already told you that fibroids are smooth muscle tumors found within the uterus. And let's think of the uterus as a cantaloupe, as a melon. The outside layer of the melon is your serosa. The orange part, the meat of the melon is the muscle, intramuscular or the inside can be submucosal. So fibroids can be found right underneath the serosal layer. They can be embedded within the mucosal, correction, they can be embedded within the muscle and they can be found subserosal where they can actually grow within the cavity. Also fibroids can be found on a stalk. It's almost like my arm and here's a fibroid. And that's the one that can typically hang and and put pressure on other places. So fibroids are typically within the uterus, subserosal, submucosal, or intramural. So what happens if I'm pregnant and I have a fibroid? Oh my goodness, we see this all the time. Now I can guarantee you that the fibroid is going to increase in size. It can one, cause pain in pregnancy because it can grow so big that it could outgrow its blood supply causing pain. Another complication we see with fibroids in pregnancy is preterm contractions or preterm labor. These women will come in complaining that I'm contracting and they're having preterm contractions. Not often will it turn into labor, but it can turn into labor. And then bleeding. There's this unexplained bleeding that takes place with fibroids that we can't always figure out the cause, but fibroids can certainly cause bleeding. And then another thing is a C-section. This fibroid is blocking the ability to have the baby make that rotation that it needs where it comes head, where it turns head down and you could end up with a C-section. And rare but possible is placenta abruption where the placenta detaches from the uterine wall because there's a fibroid there and it's implanted in the area. So there are complications associated with pregnancy, but not always, but often. So what are the treatment options for fibroids? Now, typically when I present options to the patient, I always want the patient intimately involved on what to do about my fibroids. So it depends on size. So you'll have an ultrasound to determine the position and the size and if you're having complication. One, some women choose to stay conservative. And basically, they're not doing anything but staying on top of their fibroids to make sure they're not increasing in size. Number two, there's a procedure called uterine fibroid embolization. This is typically done with your radiologist where they uh, thread the blood flow like your uterine artery and block off that blood flow to the fibroid so that it shrinks. Number three, a myomectomy. Fibroids are called myomas, and when we ectomy, tonsillectomy, appendectomy, we take out the fibroid. This can be done laparoscopically, or it can be done open, and there are different reasons why we do that. And then hysterectomy. Hysta meaning uterus. Remember, ectomy is to take it out. And whether a woman wants a hysterectomy or not becomes a personal decision, 
and really is based on symptomatology and definitely size. Those are the things you can do if you have fibroids.